Those who have claimed responsibility for the attack, uh, Ananda, have been uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda-linked Somali insurgent group, Al-Shabaab. Uh, the attack has been ongoing ever since about midday uh, our time, which would be uh, around 11 a.m. your time. So it's been four hours of, uh, of constant uh, gunfire and uh, explosions. What we understand is that uh, attackers penetrated uh, the, the uh, gates to the, to the parliamentary compound using a, a vehicle laden with explosives. That, once it exploded, several militants were able to get through dressed in uh, Somali national forces fatigue, so they looked like they were perhaps first responders when, in fact, they were the attackers. Uh, they then made their way into uh, the compound. We believe some of them did get inside Parliament. Parliament was in session. There were about 100 or to 140, we believe, members of Parliament who were there. They were able to, most of them were able to escape unharmed, except for, I believe, two uh, Somali MPs, members of Parliament, were injured, but they have been treated. A number of uh, Somali and national police were killed in the attack, as well as uh, two members of the AU force uh, to Somalia. That's the African Union mission that's supporting the fight against al-Shabaab. They were also killed. Um, as you said, uh, at least 10, but it is expected to rise. I understand a lot of people, they, they are still clearing the building. And only um, about 13 minutes ago, Ananda, we heard... Um, uh, reports that there had been another big explosion. This seems like it was an incredibly well-coordinated, complex attack, typical of uh, the insurgent group Al-Shabaab. We're hearing at these two vehicle-borne um, improvised explosive devices that would be your car bombs. We're hearing several suicide vests were being worn by these militants. So once they got to a critical stage where they were injured, they could then detonate their suicide vests and, and kill a number of people around them. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.